Show the Minister pretty cold. Yeah. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And can I place on record my deepest respect and thanks to our wonderful development and diplomatic staff who do a fantastic job in very yeah, difficult yeah. circumstances. <coughs> Mr Speaker, I visited Afghanistan this month, which was truly heartrending. It appears I and my friend, the Right Honourable Member for Tottenham, are the only British MPs to have visited. I wonder why the Secretary of State has failed to visit one year on since the fall of Kabul. The Foreign Secretary knows that protecting development gains for women in Afghanistan is fundamental, given millions are facing starvation, new restrictions and the loss of livelihoods. But rather than hosting a summit, maybe she can explain what she meant when she said, and I quote, we are restoring the aid budget for women and girls back to previous levels and we're also restoring the humanitarian aid budget. Given she failed to give an oral statement to the House on her 10-year international development strategy, will she make a statement to the House on when she plans to reverse the £1.9 billion in aid cuts to women's programming that have proven so damaging to women and girls and our reputation abroad, or is she following the Prime Minister's lead of chasing headlines and not delivering? Well, I, I utterly condemn the appalling actions of the Taliban in reversing women and girls' rights, and we are doing all we can together with our international counterparts, including hosting a pledging conference to secure more support for the people of Afghanistan. And as I've said, we are restoring the women and girls' budget back to £745 million a year, and we're also ensuring that the humanitarian budget is greater so we can tackle these issues around the world. <laughs> 